Dave Palumbo here for another RX Muscle Rant. I have a little, it's really a tip of the week or a tip for you guys because um, I get a lot of emails from people asking me, oh, Dave, I dropped my bottle of painless pumps and broke it into a million pieces on the floor. I dropped my bottle of Winstrol and it broke. Uh, I dropped my bottle of testosterone and broke. I dro the one that most people go crazy over is they dropped their GH and, and they lost like 100 in IUs or something like that. And that's a lot of money. So, you know, I want to teach you guys a little trick that I used to use because I'm clumsy too. I've dropped Winstrel V bottles with 30 cc's of Winstrel. There was like, there was Winstrel everywhere. I was like trying to suck it up with a syringe. And then I said to myself, what the fuck am I doing? I can't, I can't use this. It's not sterile anymore. But you get crazy when you do stuff like that, you know, because you, you, you feel like such an idiot for wasting all that stuff. So I developed this little trick. I don't know if any of you guys used it. I've told a few people about it. Here's for, for um, argument's sake, we're going to assume this is a bottle of Tremble. And look, I even have my Planet Trend uh, from Bobby Muscles, my Tr Planet Trend shirt on. Perfect the timing for this video. All right, so here's my bottle of Tremble that I don't want to break. It's glass, and I don't want to drop it, oops, on the floor, oops, because that's going to break into a million pieces, and then I'm going to be out 150 bucks or whatever it costs. All right, so what you do, it's called the aluminum foil trick, okay? You take a piece of aluminum foil, okay? and you wrap your bottle with the aluminum foil. Not perfect though, you want to make it crinkly. Like, almost like, like my father would say, yeah, you're doing a shabby job. You want to do a shabby job because the shabby job is going to do, the, is going to do exactly what you want it to do. It's going to cushion this, this bottle. Now, if you drop this bottle, okay, on the floor, it could be on a piece of ceramic floor that's like, that would normally break anything. You know, like usually glass would shower on, Make sure it's nice and tight around here though too, so it doesn't, it doesn't slip off the bottle. This will protect your bottle and it will never break. No matter how much, you could throw it across the room, it won't break. I'm telling you, this aluminum foil will cushion the, the glass bottle in there. It protects it every time. It's so easy. Just crinkle a piece of aluminum foil around it and then you put your GH back in the refrigerator or if you, wherever you put your windshield back in the drawer or your, or your bottle of test, it'll just save you. Now, if you have carpeting, it doesn't matter. But a lot of people have tile ceramic floors, you know, nowadays. And that's kind of the cool thing to have. Even a wood floor, you can break stuff on. Believe me, I've, I've broken bottles on wood floors also. So do the aluminum foil trick. I'm telling you, it will save your drugs and it will save you money and frustration. Because when you're at two weeks out from a show and you break that last bottle that you got of Trembolone that's supposed to get you through that last two weeks, you're going to be really, really mad, I'm telling you, okay? Not only because maybe you can't, because you, because you can't get a new bottle, but because now you don't have anything to take. So um, th there's no need for stress. It takes two seconds. It's cheap. You get a roll of aluminum foil, wrap it around the bottle, and you're all set to go. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle Tip of the Week rant.